During the Northern Song Dynasty of Ancient China, 960 to 1127, there was a secretary official named Chen Yaozi who served by the emperor's side and had a great passion for raising horses. He kept many horses at home. Among these horses, there was a particularly fierce one with a bad temper that no one could tame or control. It had kicked and bitten many people, and Chen Yaozi regretted buying it. One morning, Chen Yaozi's father walked into the stable and did not see the fierce horse. He asked the stableman about it, and the stableman replied, the secretary official has already sold the horse to a merchant. Chen Yaozi's father asked, what did the merchant buy the horse for? The stableman replied, I heard it was bought to transport goods. Chen Yaozi's father then asked, did Chen Yaozi tell the merchant that this is a fierce horse? The stableman said, oh, sir, if he had told the merchant that this horse bites and kicks people, would anyone have bought it? Chen Yaozi's father, very angry, said, this is outrageous, he actually dared to deceive someone. After saying this, he turned around and stormed off. Chen Yaozi's father found his son and asked, did you sell that fierce horse? Chen Yaozi replied proudly, yes, and I sold it for a high price. His father angrily said, you scoundrel. As a high-ranking official of the court, how dare you deceive someone? Chen Yaozi said, Dad, I didn't force him to buy it. The horse was his choice, and he wanted to buy it, so I sold it. How is that deceiving him? His father asked again, Then why didn't you tell him that this was a fierce horse? Chen Yaozi muttered, The horse was right there for him to see. If he couldn't tell that the horse had a fierce temperament, that's not my fault. His father became even angrier, you have so many skilled horse trainers under you who couldn't handle that horse. How could a wandering merchant possibly manage it? If you didn't tell him the truth, isn't that clearly deceiving him? Chen Yaozi, feeling ashamed, said, Dad, please don't be angry. I know I was wrong. I'll go find the merchant who bought the horse right away. So, Chen Yaozi personally went to the merchant, explained the situation, returned the money, and took the horse back home. He never tried to sell the horse again and kept it until it died of old age. Confucius said, Wealth and status are things everyone desires, but if they are not obtained in a righteous way, a noble person will not accept them. Poverty and low status are things everyone detests, but if they are not escaped in a righteous way, they cannot truly be escaped. If a noble person abandons benevolence and righteousness, could they still establish a good name through evil? Therefore, a noble person never departs from the way, not even for the brief time it takes to finish a meal. This is true whether they are in haste or in hardship. The Confucian concept of the way includes loyalty, filial piety, benevolence, and righteousness, in simple terms, it means kindness. In later generations, people simplified Confucius's words to a noble person loves wealth, but acquires it in a righteous way. It became a well-known and popular idiom, 